I think that there's a large part of Australia that doesn't realise how close the war was during World War Two. The second most deadly air raid was on Broome, uh, where they killed 86 people. It's a big surprise, even to Australians. Hi, my name's Dave Jackson. I'm a diver with the Maritime Archaeological Association of Western Australia. I dive shipwrecks up and down the Western Australian coast. Roebuck Bay is located off Broome, which is in the far northwest of Western Australia. The two that I drove on, I was able to identify them as both being PBY Catalinas. The uh, Japanese had uh, come south with enormous success after Pearl Harbour. And when they attacked Broome, they swept in. They attacked the targets of opportunity on the water, uh, the town itself. Uh, mainly flying boats, not knowing they were full of civilians. It was pretty much a walkover for the Japanese. We um, lost 23 aircraft uh, where they killed 86 people. Australia is a very big country and Broome's just a very sleepy town. This is uh, the top end of Australia, it's pretty much deserted. In those days, almost all Australians lived in the south. Broome, where most people have been, you learn nothing about what happened. With the Maritime Archaeological Association, we're making up a bit of a database of, of wrecks around the state with the broom planes. The intention of the dive really just to go down and identify the site and have a look at what was there. All the planes, when they were attacked, they'd all caught fire and burnt to the waterline, so it wasn't like there was a full structure of a plane sitting on the bottom. Now future generations coming through and, and now the, the interest is growing larger and larger. And that's what the modelling is about, through having a representation, something that people can go and actually visit it or, or be aware of it without having to jump in the water with the currents and all, all that stuff. And that's, I suppose, what it's all about, is bringing history to the surface so the wider public can enjoy it. It's cool to remind people what happened there sort of 80 years before you came.